All right, so Amy, going to the, uh, see a Goldie Hawn movie when I was a kid, yeah. it meant that my dysfunctional family was gonna come out smiling and having a good time and not fight for a while. So, what, yeah. so what did it mean having Goldie Hawn in as a co-star in, in a movie that you're making? What did it mean to you? I think the same for me. It's like we all really bonded in my family uh, mm. over our shared love of Goldie and watching her uh, on uh, on the big screen. And, and yeah, it was like. We, yeah, it's it's nice when the whole family can can enjoy something together. So that's what we're hoping for this one. Yeah, this is really this is one of those. Yeah. sisters, brothers, whatever. You're dealing with those aspects of your parent, mm. and it's kind of that family movie mm. that has no boundaries. Yeah, <laughs> literally no boundaries. There you yeah. go. So. Um, I know movies are shot out of sequence, but there's that scene where your characters are getting ready to bed, and they know the cats are trailing through, and there's this walk that you do, and it was like, it sort of uh, gave me such sort of thrill to see you do another character type of thing. I was wondering if you had that moment when you're, I'm back and I'm doing my thing on a set, did you have that moment while shooting this one? Oh, no, I didn't. You didn't at all? No, in fact, that <laughs> walk, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I love her walk. I, yeah, just, I, as soon as I see literally it. didn't make that walk happen. I just, I was just, Walking. Now I had attitude mm. about it because I was going up the stairs mm -hmm. and it's sort of the way, probably the way I walk up the stairs. I don't know. Um, <laughs> sometimes, you know. Things happen. So yeah. <laughs> things are funny. But I know what you mean, but know. because for you and me, we see like some mannerisms and we go, oh, and it's just like lovely to see. It's like, Goldie. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know. So I wanted to ask you, there's a running gag in the movie where uh, your sort of, uh, your character takes to defending herself, just not to spoil anything. Uh, this is your first action. Oh, yes. Yeah, the whole taking care right. of bad guys. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's your first action movie. Did sure. you, as a performer, take to what it sort of, uh, how did you do as an Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, well, I had to dance in Trainwreck, which no. was not my idea. Mm. Um, but <laughs> that was, th this was my first like action mm. experience, but I loved it. And mm. I did nothing at all to prepare. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> it's, your... it's my character, like, there. You know, she's yeah. not. She's not an action star in, in her life. So, yeah, there yeah. you go. Works. How's your <laughs> actual Spanish? Uh, do, can you do better than your character? Or? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, I can, I can understand it. Okay. Yeah, you could say something and I could translate maybe. La película estuvo bien buena y bien cómica. The movie's very good. Yeah, and very funny, bien cómica. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, yours, I mean, Wyatt and Kate from the outset, they seem very together as opposed to uh, your daughter in, uh, in the movie. Does that mean that you, that, I was wondering if you still had that sort of dynamic of, Mom, don't put the sunscreen on me type of thing. Is that something no. that you could have related to? Or, uh, no, I can relate to it because I've seen it, mm. you know. I've heard of micromanaging moms, mm. and that's okay, except it's kind of bothersome because it's hard to let your kids go, mm -hmm. right? And it's also sometimes hard to let go of control, which mm -hmm. I think is actually a bigger issue. Mm -hmm. um, but Oliver and Kate and Wyatt, you know, and Boston, who is my stepson, mm -hmm. there's four of us, mm -hmm. is that, you know, there's no, there's nobody going like that. We just okay. don't have that, you know. I Amy, mean, so the last time you, yeah. you didn't make it to Puerto Rico, you made the front the front news in the That's paper. That's right, as I was so there, I know, as if it were my yeah, choice. No, like, I know. Amy I, decided this, yeah. yeah. Amy doesn't no. love Puerto Rico. But I mean, I I, I mean, I, for my country, I mean, you don't have yeah. to wait to shoot a movie. You could easily field an arena for a stand-up. It's some, you know. That would be amazing. I, yeah. I've, I've been to Puerto Rico. I oh, love nice. Puerto Rico. I danced <laughs> in Puerto Rico. You did? I danced there. In 1966. Nice. excited about going there. I danced at the Condado Beach Hotel. Yeah, there we go. And I was there for, I don't know, three, four months. Yeah, and then I got fired by this woman. <laughs> like Stella. Damn it. Oh, and you asked for the raise. I asked yeah. for the raise, yeah. and she said, "You are ugly. <laughs> you are gone. You are finished." She I mean, was crazy. Which is also what she I would was say. crazy. Crack so yeah. uh, And Mr. Tillman's gonna throw me out, but since uh, I have you in front of here, yes. uh, my, the movie that my wife and I bond over is Overboard. So, what do you remember about making? Since they're gonna make a new one, what do you remember about making that one with Mr. Marshall and? It was Carosa? the most beautiful experience. One of them that I'd ever had making a movie. All the kids were there. It was great. I, Kurt is such a great, great actor to work with. He's so funny, and it was a really, it was challenging, but it was absolutely fantastic. So I have a place in my heart too for that movie. Okay, well, it's a pleasure talking to you both. I'm glad the junk and experience has gotten better. It's so, so much better this right. time.